The Yellowstone universe has provided us with many great characters, both male and female. Writer Taylor Sheridan just has an act for them. Even the bad guys are pieces of work. Every season and every spin-off Sheridan delivers. My personal favorites so far have been Rip Wheeler in Yellowstone, obviously, Shea Brennan in 1883, and now in his latest show, 1923, it's gotta be Spencer Dutton, who must be John Dutton's great-grandfather, who knows at this point. There's plenty of channels out there figuring that out for you. So, Spencer Dutton. God damn it, he's so cool. I mean, I'm straight and all, but anyway, he resides in Africa for the first few episodes, which reminds me there will be spoilers regarding this character in here, so go watch the episodes and then come back, okay? So he's out there fleeing from his World War I demons, which is refreshing because this character takes us outside of what we already know from the previous shows. And what's not to love? I mean, the guy's a badass hunting apex predators in the African outback, while every human female he crosses paths with is swept off her feet. This is what Netflix rom-coms are for my girlfriend. Often equally silly and cliché. There's even a scene that reminds me of that Blue Lagoon movie, which at the time when I saw it as a kid was all kinds of arousing. But man, I enjoy these scenes. They're refreshing because of the slow pacing and general old-school way of handling them. Same thing with Rip and Beth in Yellowstone, and even Elsa and Ennis, and then Sam in 1883. Anyway, back to Spencer. In this wonderful scene, he's being courted by a British blonde who is about to get married to some uptight fella, and while she's throwing all her lady moves at him, he almost stonewalls her, which makes her want him even more. She praises him by reminding him how famous he is for killing animals with his bare hands. He brings her down to earth by asking if she believes everything she hears. To which she replies, only when I want it to be true. And when asked why, she says, The romance of it. Revealing her intentions completely. Her quest for romance is fueled by his apparent unwillingness for it. It's classic stuff, but it works. I'm sure a lot of young gents these days wouldn't even know what to do if this were to happen to them. Then again, a girl being that upfront these days might as well sound like a setup. You could argue that he's so cool and distant because of the war that is still occupying his head, but the way this plays out just makes it a joy to watch. Same thing with this scene. Just watch as Alexandra is trying to talk him into a wedding proposal, while Spencer turns the tables on her, without even trying. Getting married is the last thing on his mind right now, but that's not to say he's not into her. So, to Alex's surprise, he says he'll ask her right now, which takes her back for a brief moment. He is the hunter after all. And so he proposes in a way that fits his character best, by calling it a demand. Marry me, he simply says, meeting her expectations with an element of surprise. By staying calm and by balancing out Alexandra's high energy, Spencer made the hunter become the hunted, which is infinitely more attractive to her. Spencer taps in that adventurous side that we all love. He's a guy a girl wants to have babies with and other guys want to be. The main reason being, he's up front, does what he says and says it clearly. He's trustworthy. Finally, I should mention his wardrobe choices are the best, and it's safe to say my upcoming summer attire has been decided upon. Just not looking forward lacing up these bad boys. All right, that about wraps it up. Still haven't seen this weekend's episode, so maybe I'm changing my mind after this, who knows. Stay cool like Spencer, brothers. See you next time. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want more content like this.